In this video, we're going to get started with Eagle, a PCB design software. You can first start by going to Autodesk and downloading the free version of Eagle. And our lab computers have Linux on them, so we'll download for Linux. If you have a Windows or Mac, you can also download for those specific operating systems. I've already downloaded this, and for Linux, this gives you a tar. I unarchived this tar and created a folder called Eagle 9.3.1. Once you go into that folder, you want to open up the terminal and we can type period forward slash Eagle to execute our program. I'm going to agree. And I had a previous version in here. I'm going to start from scratch. Once you get started here, make sure if you haven't that you can log in. I encourage you to create an Autodesk Education account. And that way when you install any other Autodesk products that you have an educational license. Once you've logged in and gone online, we'll make sure that we understand some of the basic features of Eagle to get started. Eagle's most powerful tool is a set of libraries that can be created, added, we can use community libraries or what exists by manufacturers, and we can also design and create our own parts and then build libraries from that. We can also create design blocks, so that would be a portion of a circuit that we can import into different uh, designs. We can create design rules, say for our PCB we only want traces to be at a certain angle, a certain width apart, it can check for these things and we can set up our own. Uh, we can write scripts and we can also bring our printed circuit boards to CAM and then mill them out on the CNC machine. All right, here's a list of your projects as well. For us to get started, we're going to import a library for us to use so that we can get off the ground running pretty quickly. I'm going to go to GitHub and download the SparkFun Eagle libraries. You can download those right here. By hitting the green clone or download, you'll download a zip file. Once you've downloaded the SparkFun Eagle libraries, you can unzip this. And I'm actually going to extract this to the Eagle folder and the libraries here and I'll hit extract. I'll hit close and now when I go through I can see that my libraries include the SparkFun library here. When I go back to Eagle directories it's still under libraries but we'll see there's the SparkFun library so now anything under the SparkFun library exists. Managed libraries are the libraries that come preset within Eagle. I'm going to start a new project and I'm going to start with a schematic. To create a new part or add a part, we're going to just use our add part. If we look here, all of the libraries that we use are within this particular portion. If you'd like to add libraries, you can open up the library manager and you can go to available and this will actually load online libraries. So here's the SparkFun libraries, the online versions. And if you'd like to use one, you can add it right in. Since I added the SparkFun libraries, I already have a bunch within here. So let's make a simple AND gate. We'll use the 74XX US chips. Let's use our 7408. Now we have a schematic drawing and if we go down we can look at some of the packages. We've used dual inline packages 
So choose the one that you've used. A lot of us use the LS08Ns, and we can see the 3D model. We can also see the PCB layout. I'll hit OK, and now that enables me to drop my part into the schematic. In this case, since there's multiple inputs on the IC, if I wanted to use another one, you can see that the inputs have changed. So it's the same chip IC, but the inputs and outputs have changed. I want to get out of my tool, I'll hit escape, and then I can add more parts. So now, let's add an LED, and let's just add a generic LED, and we're going to add a 5 millimeter just axial LED, and we'll hit OK, and that's from the Spark Fun library. So the last thing that we're going to add to this particular drawing are the switches. And let's look at some of these momentary switches that we use in class. Generally we use PTH or through hole parts and we use the 12 millimeter big switches. We'll hit OK and let's put a couple of these switches in line. Those are our bare bones of our project. We still need voltage and some resistors, but before we get into laying out the schematic, at least we can draw from a library and get started. If you see a library that you'd like to use, just download it from its page and import it as is. If there's something in the SparkFun libraries that you'd like to add, you're welcome to do that as well.